This is a fun question. I like it. You've got a dolphin can do a vertical leap of seven meters straight up. And what if you were to train a dolphin to launch itself at the water at this same speed at an angle? What is his maximum horizontal range? So in picture one, if you will, we can take the dolphin. He can launch, he, he or she or whatever, can launch himself at some velocity. V1 equals question mark. And then we're going to take that same and launch them at the best angle to get the highest, the, the maximum horizontal difference. And if you call something from we've learned before, that's going to be at 45 degrees. So in part one, if you will, you've got to find V1, V1, right? Now remember when something flies up, it then comes back down. And when it's at this point, what's V2? V2 is zero. So I'm going to use what I like to call equation C3. V2 squared equals V1 squared plus 2 times A times the change in, in this case, Y, because we're dealing with the Y plane up and down right here. Yeah, a y is the 7 meters, right? A, of course, is the acceleration of gravity. V1 is what you're solving for, and V2 equals zero. That's going to give you the y, pardon me, that's going to give you the v1. So once you know the v1, we'll use that in the second part of the question. Because then you'll know what this number is. We'll call this just v1. Because now we're not shooting them straight up, but at some angle. And then if you recall, of course, we now, when we're doing this, we want to find the vx and the vy, in this case, launched at this V1's number. So when we do this, we have to then define the maximum speed. The first thing I need to do is I'm going to use, you've got equations again. You've got basically the X column, and then you've got the Y column. You've got X1, which is zero, X2, and that's for actually the big question. What is the maximum range? So when he lands over here, what is this distance here? Then you've got A. Remember, A in the X direction is 0. T, we don't know. But we can find T with the Y. So I can say Y1 equals 0. He starts at 0, right? Down here. And if you think about it, you're on water. So what's Y2? Y2 is also 0 because he's on level ground. He's going to be at the same spot. It's not like he's diving up to some higher level of water. A is negative 9.8. We do know what the V1Y is. Now, we'll have to figure that out. The V1Y, that's the opposite of the 45, so that's sine. So this will be sine 45 times V1 from over here. And that gives me my V1Y. And then you can plug it in using the big equation, right? Y2 equals Y1 plus V1YT plus 1 half AT squared, and you're going to be solving for time. Once you know the time, then you get some number. Time equals so many seconds. Then once you know that time, you're going to plug it into, I'll change colors, to the black equation, which is the X equation. We could say X2, which is what you're solving for, is X1. Now we know that to be 0, plus v one x times t. Now you found the t here. V1x, I didn't calculate this, but since it's 45 degrees, you can also do cos, you know, V1 cos 45 is the Vx. But since it's 45 degrees, the, if you don't know this, but the, you probably do, it's the same number, right? It's an equilateral triangle, plus one half at squared. Now remember, in the x direction, acceleration is zero. So it's just going to be this equation, and you can find its maximum horizontal range. We call this the range.